Hi, Mayor Tom Koch here with our COVID-19 update here. A uh, little rainy today, so I assume we don't have any too many issues with social distancing out in the parks today. Uh, so thanks for the cooperation in that. The latest numbers for Quincy, we have uh, 264 uh, cases, I guess, at this point, confirmed cases, 10 deaths. That hasn't changed in the last couple of days, thankfully. We've had more re people recovered. We're up to 70 now that have recovered from the virus. And the cases in Massachusetts are approaching uh, 17,000. I did want to give a little update on a couple of things. One, an ongoing effort to protect the most vulnerable members, the people that really, really live on the margins. Uh, the Howard Johnson's Motel on Hancock Street is opening up as an isolation and quarantine center. It's operated in partnership with us, the city, and with Manit uh, Community Health Center, along with Father Bills. Uh, these folks are being uh, tested uh, through the Manit community and being checked out by medical personnel. Uh, if there's a serious health issue, that'll be dealt with. If they have found uh, negative in the testing, they will go back to the regular population, Father Bills, spread out between Father Bills and the Y. Uh, I really appreciate, uh, really, Ashish Sangani, who is the proprietor of uh, the motel. His cooperation has been very helpful. And really, Cynthia Sierra, who's the CEO at Manit Health, has been a terrific leader during this difficult crisis in the, in the community health world. Uh, of course, working on a regular basis with our own Commissioner of Public Health, Ruth Jones and her team. So we thank them for that. This is really an effort to stem the tide, if you will, to stay ahead of it uh, with the, some of the homeless and vulnerable population that are out there. Uh, so trying to stay ahead. Again, thank you to the Y, Paul Gorman and their team for for allowing us to use the YMCA to spread out uh, some of the populations so they're not on top of each other. Uh, we also have another th a number of things going, as, as we've talked about in the show. The rental assistance program is going very, very well, both with the Quincy Chamber as well as with Quincy Community Action. Uh, we've been uh, dealing with the food pantries in Quincy, and, and uh, I know that folks have been certainly requesting um, a little more food than you normally would during this situation as well. So we thank them for their work. We thank the spiritual community, uh, all the houses of worship and folks that are reaching out in so many different ways to people directly in their homes and assisting. Council and Age has been doing great work assisting seniors with their needs. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give the Council and Aging a call. The number should be up on the screen. And of course, questions with any health related, uh, again, the, that number should be up on the screen with our health department. Uh, QuincyMA.gov, you can connect to any city department on any services. As you know, we're not open for walk-ins, but we'll deal through the web page or if you call uh, City Hall, this office, 617-376-1990. We'll certainly provide any uh, information or assistance we can to you. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Things will get better. I know we're going to have a little bit of a surge, has been predicted, but uh, everybody is on top of this, from the president to the governor of the Middleton community. We're all working together on this for your public health and benefit. Uh, we will get through this. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. God bless and stay safe.